Hey guys, it's Jerry, and welcome to another Zomo Lomo video. Today, what uh, I'm going to do is another malware matchup. I have a newly infected uh, machine here, a Windows 7 machine. It uh, has some ma malware that I uh, used uh, probably like uh, a day or so old. I just added some more malicious links before I started this video. So uh, it might not look it, but it is pretty infected. Now, I just installed the Dr. Web installer. I haven't even touched it yet. And uh, right before I started the video, what I got was this pop-up that says Dr. Web Cured is launched in the Enhanced Protection Mode, or EPM. This, this mode ensures the functionality of Dr. Web Cured even when your Windows desktop is blocked by malware. To continue working in the EPM, press OK, which is recommended. To switch to the standard mode, press Cancel. EPM is for emergency scan only. No other applications can be launched in this mode. So, it kind of goes into a uh, environment where even though the PC is infected, it still allows Dr. Webb to, uh, to run, which I thought was uh, really cool. Now, the other thing I should mention is Dr. Webb, this version that I just downloaded from their website, uh, it seems to be a newer version that uh, they just came out with. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and do a scan. I'm going to go ahead and just get started, do a scan, see what it finds. Now, I must have thrown about uh, 25 or 30 malicious links at it, maybe even more, so I'm not even sure what's on here. But I know it's pretty effective because the internet wasn't working and all kinds of, when I first started the PC, all kinds of stuff uh, was crashing. I had like uh, six or seven uh, icons down here that said that this stopped responding and just a bunch of stuff, so I know it's pretty infected. Uh, so, I'm going to stop talking. Uh, so our contender is Dr. Webb's Cured versus Malware. So let's see how it does. So uh, I'm going to, let's see, if you're going to cure your home PC, okay. So let's go ahead and start it. Uh, on startup, Dr. Webb Cured performs an express scan of critical system components. If infected objects are detected, the system will be cured. Curable files will be moved to quarantine and we're going to be prompted for confirmation before per performing any action with a file, which is good. You don't really want to start deleting stuff. If an infected object is found, we strongly advise switching to complete scan. Do you want to start the scan now? Sure. Why not? Okay, and as you can see here, it's in this uh, enhanced protection mode, which uh, I hadn't seen before, so I guess with this new version, um, that's kind of the, one of the big differences is that it kind of puts you in this protection mode, meaning that it can run even though you're infected with uh, malware. So, um, as you can see here, it's version 6, um, and I'm not sure how new this version is, but uh, that's what I downloaded from their website. So I'm going to go ahead and let this do its thing and uh, I'm going to come back either when it finishes scanning or if I notice anything kind of out of the ordinary. So I will be back in a minute. Okay guys, I'm back. Real quick I want to show you. So this is the uh, interface. It started an express scan and uh, what it does, it, it tells you what file it finds that's infected. This uh, cryptnet32.dll is infected with Trojan mold drop 1.21644 if you want to cure. Now I can hit yes, um, but any, any time that it finds something it's going to ask me the same question. So I always like to, to hit yes to all. So this way as it finds things it will automatically uh, try to cure it or delete it or quarantine it, whatever um, it, you know, whatever it is that it uh, thinks that it should do. So, um, I'll be back when this uh, finishes. It started with scanning memory. It didn't find anything in memory. And now it's, it's 
scanning the actual system. It's uh, in System 32 where a lot of malware likes to hide. So I'll let the scan. Once it's done, I'll come back and we'll go from there. So I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. Um, so Dr. Webb just did a, an express scan, as you can see here, and it found uh, a few viruses. Um, so we'll select all. And we will delete. Okay. So, <clears throat> according to this, it found uh, 11 infections. One was suspicious. Uh, moved one to quarantine because it wasn't curable and deleted the rest. So, <clears throat> what I'm going to do is um, restart and then I'll do a scan with maybe um, malware bytes or something like that and see what happens. So I will be right back once the PC resets. Okay guys, I'm back. Uh, as you can see here, I just restarted after the scan with Dr. Webb and it seems that uh, there's stuff still on here. Uh, this weird pop-up here keeps coming up, and I'm still getting a message that harmful software was detected on the PC. So, <clears throat> at this point, what I think I'm going to do is another scan with Dr. Webb. And just to be fair, I will do a full scan, a complete system scan, see what it finds, and then I will be back. Um, now it already removed a bunch of stuff, so uh, after we do a complete scan, hopefully it'll find whatever else is on here, and uh, we'll get rid of everything. So uh, I'm going to wait for this to start before I pause it. <clears throat> Show you that I'm going to do a complete scan. Actually, hold on one second. You don't have to see this splash screen. I'll be right back. Okay, guys. Um, back by default, it started another express scan, so I just stopped that. Uh, I'm going to hit complete scan, which does boot sectors of all disks, all removable media, and all local disks. <clears throat> so I'll go ahead and do a scan with uh, this. Or do a complete scan. I'm not sure how long it's going to take, but uh, once it's done, I'll come back and I'll show you the results. So I will be back. Okay, guys, I'm back. <clears throat> I uh, just did a complete scan with Dr. Webb, and I found three more items. Um, one being this backdoor TDSS that uh, I, I guess couldn't delete the last time because it. Uh, listed once again but uh, in any case I found three more items so at this point uh, I am going to um, restart and then do a scan with malware bytes so once that's done I'll come back and uh, go from there so I'll be right back okay guys I'm back and I finished the scan did the restart as you can see, there's still some malware on here, still getting this, whatever this uh, box is that comes up when I restart. I'm now doing a scan with malware bytes at approximately 10 or so seconds into it and found a couple of objects. So uh, I'm going to do a full scan, as you can see right here, and uh, wait for it to complete. Come back and show you what I found. So I'll be right back. Okay guys, I'm back. Um, I did a scan with both Hitman Pro and Malwarebytes. Uh, Malwarebytes found 20 infections. So if you take a look here, you have Trojans, uh, Backdoor, uh, Good Kit, 
uh, Trojan Fake Alerts, Malware Trace, Root Kits, uh, More Trojans, Malware Trace, Rogue Antivirus. Just a bunch of stuff on here. Uh, registry values, some file, uh, file and memory process, which I gather it can't be very good. And uh, as you can see here, Hitman Pro also found a few pieces of malware, Trojans, and then you have your tracking cookies. So um, as far as Dr. Webb is concerned, it did an okay job. I mean, originally it was uh, all, almost 40 infections, uh, and then I threw more at it. So, uh, you know, malware bites still found a little over 20, so it probably got rid of just about half of uh, the infections that were on this computer. So it did okay. Uh, it's obviously not the, the best out there. Um, I thought that Dr. Webb would be better from what I've read and what I've seen um, as far as how people uh, recommend Dr. Webb and say that it's a very good program, but uh, it, you know, it, it could have done better on this infected machine. I'm actually surprised that it didn't do better than it did. Uh, and you know, the, the proof is here where malware bites found quite a bit more. Uh, after I did a um, quick scan or a you know, smart scan or whatever they call it, and then I did a complete scan as well. So uh, that's it. If you have any comments or if you have any questions, leave it on my uh, channel or send me a, a message. Other than that, I think this is a wrap. Thank you guys for watching and have a great night.